Hey people, it's Daniela. Welcome back to my YouTube channel or hello there if you're new. It's been quite a while since I released an actual YouTube video. Happy New Year by the way. I honestly didn't think it was going to take me this long to get a video out. I have had art block and I have also been demotivated to draw. I like to think that I got over my art block a few weeks into the year, but then school started and I didn't have time to draw. At least not digitally. I still don't, but I felt the need to get something out before the algorithm decides to hate me. Just to get this out of the way, the art in this video wasn't made around the same time frame. Some I did make last year and some I did, did make recently. So that is why my art style kind of changes throughout the video. I cut into footage information from the first illustration. I discovered that I started making art for this video around like December and it was like the second week of December and now we're in like the almost at the end of february it hasn't been that long has it long enough intro so let's get into the main video so today's video is going to be about the noise art challenge you know that tiktok art challenge where you like make a sketch of an illustration or like learn an illustration and then you use like a noise filter to like just pick out colors for the illustration you made yeah that's what we're going to be doing today Okay, so this first illustration was like pretty random. I had no idea what I was doing. I had no inspiration of any sort. It was just like go with the flow. Even now, I am not a big fan of the anatomy, but when I noticed this, there was pretty much nothing I could do about it because I almost never ever restart my art pieces. It's just a lazy artist type of thing. One thing I do like about this piece is the line art and the dramatic lighting that I give it. That's all. This was also the only piece where the skin color was regular. If you noticed, I was also experimenting with the eye. Does it look Asian enough? I think I made this one around the same time frame after I made my YouTube video about Tinkley Syndrome. So I was really trying to try a different eye shape, which is like Asian eyes. If you noticed, earlier on, I did make a colored sketch and I do not even know what the purpose of that was, but I think it was just to kind of know how it was going to use the colors and how the colors would fit and the lighting situation that I was going to go for. For the background, I just felt like doing something interesting, so I like made a square and tilted it to get a rhombus, and I put it behind her. And that's it, that's the first piece, it's done. So this next piece is cut between recent and old, as I did do the sketch around last year or early this year, I'm not that sure. But then I did do the coloring around February and it's just like recently, so yeah, it's between recent and old but i feel like it's leaning more towards old because the line art and the composition is like really old since it was last year and the coloring doesn't really do much even if like coloring could salvage a piece but i feel like 
if damage has already been done in like the sketching and the liner phase then coloring wouldn't really do much to salvage it that's just my opinion okay so here are some shots of me getting the colors in real time they just looked really aesthetic and pleasing so i just decided to put them in here This piece does actually have a mini backstory which I wouldn't mind talking about so let's get into it. Okay so I was randomly sketching with the colored pencils I got from a store in my sketchbook and I made a sketch that I really liked and the team for that page was like turning social media apps into girls and this girl was for like the YouTube girl and in the original sketch she did have a YouTube play button but for this one, I just kind of took that away and gave her a funny pack instead. I also gave her an expression, something that I do not understand the reason behind now that I'm doing voiceover, but let's just leave it there. So the skin, this is something that I wouldn't usually think of or I wouldn't do on a regular day, but challenges like this just pushes me to try things that I wouldn't necessarily try on a regular day. So I think it was really fun trying to shade green skin, trying to just make it work. The lighting was pretty random, just hitting her from the side, and I know that the background is terrible. I've heard that it's better to save the best for last, and that is exactly what I have done with this video. This is the most recent piece out of all three illustrations that I made in this video, as I made every part of the process around February. I absolutely love the composition of this piece, it looks really neat and that is why it's easily my favorite. It also has a mini backstory so I'm going to tell it right now. Okay so this drawing was inspired by a sketch I made in my sketchbook of a girl drinking boba, boba. Boba tea. Boba tea. I did make a couple of changes to the illustration from this sketch and it developed a lot from that particular sketch. I decided to name her Bird. My best friend chose the name by the way. Anyways, I took away the tote bag and the cross necklace that was on the sketch which she was supposed to have and that happened by accident. From the first sketch, she was also supposed to have flowers on her hair but I took that away and left it for the background. Oh, and her outfit was inspired by a Pinterest image that I found in my camera roll. I think it looks very nice on her. I also gave her a mole cause same face syndrome is real. If you know, you know. Okay, so if it isn't clear enough already, I am making Verd into an OC. And Clorinda too. Clorinda is the green skinned girl I drew earlier by the way. I think they would have a good dynamic for a backstory which I am yet to make. I do know they'll be like from the same world and Verd is easily my favorite. Don't get me wrong, Clorinda looks nice if you zoom in, but Verd is the real deal. Plus, she's too cute! My best friend said Clorinda is his favorite, but Verd is my baby. Okay, this was certainly fun for me to draw, but the crashes, it was absolutely nerve-wracking. Thankfully, I liked Verd enough to sit through the entire process of restoration. That's love right there. <laughs> Here is me leaving you all with one of those therapeutic color picking shots again. Enjoy!
again the noise chose green for the skin and at this point i was pretty much used to it but i kind of wanted her to have a regular skin color because i really loved verd right from the liner stage and i wanted her to have like a regular skin color so i'd make her into an oc and when she got green as a skin color i was like oh well i could just put her in the same world as clorinder and i could soon make her into an oc so yeah that's exactly what i'm doing shading 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 was fun and what was more fun was lighting is i have tried to do an underneath type of lighting situation before but it didn't end quite well so i gave up and for some reason i decided to try it again with verd and it did end up looking really nice it actually looks like a touch was being held from underneath her for real I think the reason I like this illustration a lot is because it reminds me of art from my favorite artist on Instagram. The background I made pretty simple because I feel like Verd already stole the show so the background had very minimal work to do. Anyways, here's a recap of the art I made in this video, do let me know your favorite in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. I honestly miss making YouTube videos like this, but I haven't been having the time to, so I haven't been able to make it for a while now. I do hope that I my schedule would go back to normal and I'll be able to get more videos out. That's all for today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Have a blessed day and bye!